while at Texas Tech. And we continue to follow the latest developments with former IU basketball player Todd Leary. He wore number 30 during his playing days for Coach Knight from 1989 to 94, and most recently, he's been the color commentator for IU basketball on the radio. Leary was arrested on charges out of Allen County just minutes before he was about to call last week's IU-Purdue game. News Channel 15's Matt McCutcheon is in news control this afternoon with the very latest on his case. Matt? Well, good afternoon, Pat. Here's a quick timeline for you. Leary was arrested on Thursday in Monroe County. He then bonded out of jail on Saturday, and today he made his initial court appearance right here in Allen County in Allen Superior Court. Now, both Leary and his attorney had no comment for News Channel 15 today as they made their way out of the courthouse after his initial court appearance. Leary was read his charges, and a plea of not guilty was entered on his behalf. And this all stems from real estate insurance fraud. Leary, as you may remember, is facing 17 felony charges that center around conversion or misappropriation of title insurance funds. Leary lives in Indianapolis and works in Bloomington. But these charges are coming from Allen County because a business he was allegedly associated with, Fort Wayne Title, operated here in the Summit City. Her documents say Leary once worked for a title insurance broker there who pleaded guilty to several charges in a $2.7 million scheme, which included just about 15 victims. Now, he will next be in court on February 26th. At that court date, it will be determined if a special prosecutor needs to be assigned to this case. And we have additional background for you on the crime tab of Wayne.com. Live in News Control this noon, I'm Matt McCutcheon, News Channel 15. And scheduled to be in court later today, the Adams County.